Today we're talking about the limits of Google, why it's not a great research tool. So what is Google anyway? Well, I know what you're thinking. Google's a search engine, right? Well, you're only half right. In fact, you're a little less than half right. Did you ever stop to Google the word Google? What would you get? Well, you get 14 billion results. But there is a quick answer right here. Google is an American multinational corporation specializing in internet-related services and products. So it's a little bit more than a search engine. Google, in fact, owns a number of things that I'm quite sure you're familiar with. Gmail, Google Plus, Google Drive, Motorola Mobility, Nexus Technology, a little video sharing website called YouTube. You may have heard of them. You may have also heard of Android Technology and Google Chrome, which is more of Google's core business, search engine. And this corporation here, Google Inc., in 2012 made over $10 billion in profit. So let's run a little test, shall we? I have an assignment. My teacher has asked me to prepare a report on the seigneurial system in New France. So we'll run a test and see how effective Google is as a research tool and perhaps look at some alternatives to using Google if it doesn't prove to be exactly what we think it is. So if we punch in the seigneurial system on Google, we get 119,000 results. Those results appeared in 0.21 seconds, which is great. But 119,000 results? Really? Who's going to read all of that? In fact, research shows that most of us don't even go beyond the first page of whatever we find on Google. Sometimes we might venture into the second page, but that's about our limit. So we have to ask ourselves, how does something appear on the first page of Google if that's all people are really going to use? An algorithm. That's how Google figures out what goes where. An algorithm is a fancy word for a procedure for solving a problem. And since Google's search engine is simply a program, it follows a very specific procedure. Google's algorithm is based on links to a page. Not the information on the page, but the amount and quality of links on the page. And as students, this should be a cause of concern for us. Google search engines not actually looking at the information on the page. Google doesn't read it, it just looks at the links, which is why in your top five results you're almost always going to find Wikipedia, because Wikipedia has a lot of links. Google looks at that and says, well, if a lot of people are linking to the page, it must be a really good page. And that's how things end up on the first page of Google. Not because the information is any good, but because the information is linked. So what if a page that you're about to click on on the first page of Google is filled with nonsense, but a lot of people have linked to it? Then Google's going to mislead you into thinking that that's a really good website. And that's not necessarily the case for your research. Well, let's look at what we got here. Images for seigneurial system. Well, that might be useful in my research. Wikipedia is amongst the first two, and we all know you can't trust Wikipedia as a source because, well, it's a wiki. The Canadian Encyclopedia shows up here, and that's a fantastic website. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in a minute. But that's the fourth one down on the page. We've got some links here to some PDFs. Ooh, ask.com. That's pretty much a wiki. I can't use that. And we've got some other stuff here that may or may not be good. Collections Canada is from the government of Canada. So that's usually pretty good stuff. Ooh, another wiki page down here. And so we've got a whole mix of useful and not so useful stuff here on our first page in Google. Well, let's look at the Canadian Encyclopedia for a minute. 
if you punch in the seniorial system here the Canadian Encyclopedia, we get a whole different set of results than we did when we looked simply at Google. Look at the difference. 35 results. If I'm looking to do some research for my assignment on the seniorial system, I might actually take the time to look at most, if not all, of those 35 results. On the Canadian Encyclopedia, I know that historians and teachers and educators have gone through this stuff to see if it's any good. And if the stuff isn't any good, it's not going to show up here. I'm not going to get wiki pages and about.com and ask.com. I'm only going to get good stuff that's relevant to my search. 35 hits on four pages. This is one to keep. This is probably where I should start my search instead of going to Google. Well, let's look at what other resources are available to me. Hmm, the Bayview Glen website? Really? Yeah, really. Right here in the top right corner is a link called Libraries. And I can use either the Lower and Prep School Library link or the Upper School link. Both of them have some great, valuable resources here for me. If we scroll down, we see here we've got the school's catalog system, Destinies there, and a link to the Toronto Public Library. We're going to talk about the TPL website in a little bit. But there are a number of things that are linked here. Uh, some of these are very lower school, but starting at World Book Online, Canadian Encyclopedia, which we just looked at, Canada in Context, and eBooks, these are all great resources, specifically for history, since that's what my assignment from the senior L system is all about. These are great resources that we can use. You'll notice here that there are some uh, usernames or passwords that are listed here, so we need to keep those in mind. I'm going to keep this screen open so I can go back. Most of the passwords here are listed as homework for these different websites here. So starting at World Book Online, I've got that open here in another tab. And if you just simply type in Bayview and Animal, we get a World Book homepage here four options. I'm going to click student and I'm going to type in seniorial system and it's only given me two results. A whole lot better than 119,000 results but here both of them specifically on what I'm looking for. I'm going to click the second one here and wow look at this article that it's given us here. It's a history of Canada. I'm starting to mention the development of New France, the fur trade, early settlements, threats to expansion, and so on. And so the seniorial system is going to be included in here. I'm actually just going to quickly do a control F and seniorial system. On this page there's three matches. I found them already and I'm good to go. Back here on the Baby Glen website, the next resource I want to look at is here, Canada and Context. When I click the link, it goes to this page here. I'm going to type in that password homework and proceed onto the page. This is their main page here. I'm going to scroll down and click Canadian History. And in here, there are a number of things. You can see it's given me uh, different areas to look in news, magazines, reference, academic journals, primary sources, critical essays, uh, websites. It's only one small part of what they do here. And again, let's just paste in seniorial system and see what this gives us. So it says no exact matches. So let's try something different then. Let's just type in New France and see what we get. And so we've got a number of results here. We've got news, we've got magazines, academic journals. That seems to be getting closer to what I'm looking for. Reference for New France. Ooh, New France and colonization. I'm starting to like what I see. I've even got primary sources here. Critical essays, audio. I'm probably going to select this one here. But you can see how within a few seconds, by avoiding Google, I've already got something that's a lot more specific for my search. We'll try this one here, New France and colonization. In Canada before New France, Cartier's explorations, New France and the fur trade. And then we start to get into the kind of stuff that we're looking for here with the seniorial system. And without much reading, I found the seniorial system on this page. 
I like that I got here so quickly. And so Canada in context is another resource that we need to keep in mind and use frequently. Electronic books. Uh, that's another link that we have here. And again, it's going to bring us to our front page. We're going to type in our password homework. And with electronic books, you need to keep in mind that these are actually print resources. If you're reading the entire text of a book online, that's considered print or hard copy. It's the same as having a physical book where you turn the pages in your hand. So the Gale Virtual Reference Library here has broken things down by topic. And we're going to go into history and view all. Again, we're looking for the seigneurial system in New France. Now, none of these book titles seem to have anything to do with Canada. But we're going to be a little bit smart here. Since we know that New France was a colony of France, we're going to look at Europe in this time period here and see if this book can give us anything that's useful. So we're going to look within the publication here. I'm going to paste the neural system. Let's see what we get. Hmm. French colonies, North America. Excellent. I've got an MLA citation right here, and I can look at the actual content from the book just by clicking this link. And now I'm actually in the book, looking at the information that was in this book, and I didn't have to go to a shelf to find the book. I didn't have to spend half a day looking in the library for it. It's right here by using an electronic book. So let's keep electronic books in mind when we're doing any sort of research online. Back to the Bayview Glen website again. I'm going to actually log out and go into the upper school because there's one or two other resources there that will be useful to us. So here in upper school, the password is BVG BVG. It's the same for both upper and lower school. When we go in here, we see a similar page, but we see different things here. Global Issues and Context, Academic One File, Literature Resource Center, Canada in Context again. But here we have the Canadian Periodicals Index. Now, this is going to give us a sort of a search that will help with another search, so it's not going to be um, necessarily direct to the information that we need, but it's going to show us where we can find it. So this is a periodical index as opposed to looking at the periodicals themselves. But if we paste in some URL system, let's see what happens here. We've got four magazine results. And this one here is from a thing called History Magazine, and it's called specifically the Seigneurial System in New France. And so what the Canadian Periodical Index is doing is it's telling me that this document or this article exists in this magazine, and here's how you find it. I like the fact that there's an MLA citation here. I'm probably just going to cut and paste this to my citations list so that when I do find the book, I've already got the citation for it. So the Canadian Periodicals Index, another useful tool for us to have in our toolbox. We're just going to go quickly now. Uh, the last thing we're going to look at is the Toronto Public Library. You notice it was linked on both the lower and the upper school uh, library links on the Baby Glen website. Every student at Baby Glen, since you go to school in Toronto, should have a library card for the Toronto Public Library system. Uh, it allows you to borrow materials. Their website, as you'll see in a moment, not only tells us what the Toronto Public Library system has, but where in Toronto you can get it. And they're very useful, actually, in helping you to track down or get shipped to you the information that you need. So here I've got an item here called the Seigneurial System in Early Canada, a geographical study. When I click on it, you'll notice that uh, it's going to tell me where in the library system it is, Okay, which libraries have this material. This again is a lot faster than trying to go through 119,000 potentially garbage hits on Google. So many, so many resources available to us. Happy hunting, good research.